On March 26, 1991, Singapore Airlines Flight 117, a routine flight between Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia to Changi International Airport, Singapore, was hijacked by four terrorists from the Pakistani People's Party. The flight from Kuala Lumpur to Singapore was a routine flight that took about one hour. The plane was an Airbus A310-300, a two-aisle configuration that Singapore Airlines started introducing into service in 1987. This particular aircraft had the registration 9 Victor Syria Tango Papa or 9 VSTP and it was delivered to Singapore Airlines in around 1988 and flew with the airline until 2001 when it was transferred to a Spanish airline. The four terrorists claimed they were representatives of the Pakistani People's Party. Now, the Pakistani People's Party was founded in 1967 by Zelfikar Ali Bhutto. Now, the party was originally found with socialist leanings, but since the 1990s, due to large-scale corruption, the party has claimed to have ditched the leftist leanings. Another famous uh, person of the party was Benazir Bhutto, the first female Prime Minister of uh, Pakistan before she was assassinated in 2007. The Singapore Special Operations Force is an elite unit of the Singapore Army. The unit was uh, secretly formed in 1985 after the Singapore military realised they had no special unit capable of dealing with hijacking or hostage situation. The unit's role is also as a commando special reconnaissance as well as anti-terrorism. Now, apparently, uh, the Special Operations Force was also uh, deployed to Afghanistan operating under Operation Blue Ridge, which is where the Singapore Armed Forces deployed 492 members, and they were part of the international effort to uh, uh, stabilise and rebuild Afghanistan. Now, that hasn't been confirmed by the uh, Singapore military or the Singapore government as yet. On March 26, 1991, Singaporean Airlines Flight 117 took off at 9.38pm from Kuala Lumpur Airport with Captain Stanley Lim in charge. At 9.50pm, Chief Steward Philip Cheong heard a commotion from the back of the plane. It was caused by four Pakistani men armed with butter knives and canisters that appeared to be explosives. The men were shouting, hijack, hijack, nobody move or we will blow up this plane. The leader appeared to be a Sahid Hassan Zumro. He stormed into the cockpit, demanded the plane to be taken to Sydney, Australia. But the captain advised him the plane did not have enough fuel to fly on to Sydney. Sahid then ordered the plane to be flown to Singapore for refuelling. At 10.24pm, the flight arrived at Changi Airport. It was then that the demands were announced. Number one, they wanted the talk to the Pakistani ambassador to Singapore. Number two, they wanted to talk to the former Pakistani Prime Minister Benazir Bhutto. Number three, they wanted the release of 11 people from various Pakistani prisons. Number four, they wanted the plane refuelled so they could fly on to Sydney. At around 11.30pm, one of the cabin crew members was thrown from the plane. Despite being injured, he still managed to give police information in regards to the hijackers. Then, as negotiations had been drawn out, another cabin crew member was thrown from the plane at around 2.20am on March 27. Then a fire was lit on the plane at around 2.30am. Negotiators agreed to refuel the plane as long as the fire was put out. During all this, the plane had been towed to a different part of the airport. This particular part of the airport, Singaporean commandos had used as a training ground. At around 6.45am on March 27, the negotiations had gone downhill. The leader of the group, Sahid, told negotiators they were tired of negotiating and will give five minutes to have their demands met or they will start killing a hostage every ten minutes. So at 6.47am, the commandos were given they go ahead to storm the plane. At 6.50am, doors at both ends of the plane were blown, followed by stun grenades being thrown in, followed by the commando storming in. Within 30 seconds, the four hijackers were dead. The leader, Saeed, had been shot five times in the chest and still attempted to light a canister before one of the commandos shot him in the head with his uh, Sig Sayer P226 pistol. Within five minutes of the commando storming the plane, the plane's emergency chutes had been activated and passengers and cabin crew were being evacuated. Out of all the passengers on the plane and cabin crew, the only two that were injured were the two that had been thrown from the plane, and all four terrorists had been killed. 
to say the operation was a total success. All those involved in it, including the negotiators, would go on to re receive some sort of bravery award. An interesting end to this story is that one of the commandos that stormed the plane, Fred Cheong, left the military and became a Buddhist monk, and he now prefers to be known as Venerable Tenzin Dreshom. Anyway, thanks for watching. Check out my other videos. Until next time, cheers.